Now this is a special lesson concerning the uh, powers of zero, or powers with zero, I think, would be more accurate. Because we're going to be using zero as both the base and the exponent. Now, when zero is a base, and then we're raising it to a power, let's say it's the fourth power, well, what do you think that would equal? That just equals, you're multiplying zero four times. So it's just going to equal zero. Right? And then this would be true for any, uh, any power of zero. No matter how many times you multiply zero, you're always going to get, I'm not going to write 10 zeros here, but you're always going to get zero as the answer. Right? So zero to any power is going to give you zero. Now what happens if zero is the exponent? So two to the zeroth power, what do you think that would equal? Now, some students say that that equals zero because two to the two times zero equals zero. But again, this doesn't mean we're multiplying two times zero, right? This means that two is being multiplied with itself zero times. Now, I know that sounds, that sounds weird, but that's what this means literally. And when 2 is being raised to a power of 0, this actually equals 1. And this is true for any other number. So any number, whether it be 10, whether it be 17, any number when it's raised to the power of 0, they always equal 1, not 0. Okay, and I think um, there are lots of different explanations for this. Um, and one of the exp explanation that I can think of is, remember uh, when we defined exponents, it was to shorten multiplication, right? So when we were doing 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, we rewrote that as 3 to the 4th. And when we're repeating addition, we express that as uh, multiplication. And when you multiply by a zero, you get a zero, which is the identity, if you remember the algebraic properties. Multiplying by zero gives you the identity for the addition operation, right? Zero is the identity because when you add zero, you get the same number. When you do one plus zero, you get one, you get 2 plus 0, you get 2. 3 plus 0, you get 3. Any number plus 0, you get that number. So multiplying, multiplication and addition are related in this way uh, because multiplication is a short way of writing addition. And when you multiply by a 0, you get the identity for the addition. Now, a similar relationship is true for exponents and multiplication. When you raise uh, to a power of zero, you get one. And one is the identity for multiplication. Okay, because if you do one times one, you get one. If you do two times one, you get two. You get three times one, you get three, etc. So it seems to have uh, a similar relationship between exponents and multiplication and multiplication and addition. And it seems to have something to do with the identity element. So this one is the identity, identity of multiplication. And zero is the identity of addition. So when you are multiplying by zero, you get the identity of the operation that is, I guess, in a way, one level below 
So you multiply here, you get the identity for the operation that's one level below. You raise to the zero power here, and you get the identity for the operation that's one level below. This is the way I think of um, power of zeros. So anyways, if this doesn't make sense, don't worry too much about it. Uh, but eventually I want you to um, to think about why why is anything to the power of zero one? And I'm sure you'll you'll get some very creative answers as you answer that question. But for now, uh, just remember that any number to the power of zero will give you one. Okay? The one is the identity of multiplication. Now, what happens if you raise zero to a zeroth power? Now, this is a contradiction here because um, up here, up here we said that zero raised to any power is going to give you zero. Zero, if you raise that to any power, is going to give you zero. So um, if you raise zero to zero, that should also give you zero, right? Because that's, you're raising zero to a power. But down here, you said that any number to the power of zero has to equal one. So if you're using this method, then if you raise zero to a zero, that has to equal one. If we're focusing on the exponent, it has to equal one. If you're focusing on the base here, you have to. it has to equal zero. So there's a contradiction here. So when you see an expression like this, zero to the power of zero, that is defined to be undefined. We don't know the solution for this. Okay, so uh, when you see zero raised to the zeroth power, basically these are two rules conflicting. So we say that that is undefined. But when uh, you see them separately, so when you see uh, base of zero raised to an exponent, then it has to be, the answer has to be zero. And when you see zero as an exponent with a non-zero base, as in this case, then the answer has to be one.